Hey, friends. So, um, today I had a really interesting experience. I had a friend tell me that they experienced spiritual enlightenment. And, and they were speaking from a place. I had a good, I don't know, probably over an hour conversation. And they were speaking from a place of really intense presence. And it almost reminded me of, it was, it's funny because I had this moment where the, this person's voice and their manner of speaking suddenly reminded me of someone, of another person who's also sort of a spiritual brother in arms in a way and it was just a that moment was kind of a bizarre it, 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 that moment happened before this person then said that they'd had this incredible experience and and so I um it was quite a thing to receive today. And the, the, it was full of acknowledgement. It was full of a very generous, I think, ge generosity of spirit towards me and towards how I have been part of this person's life and this person's process but the but there's something else that happened for me which is that I felt vaguely unsettled and almost kind of Sad. And I think that what it was happening, you know, I, I, I honestly, I'm still a little bit in, in the process. I don't, I don't know that I know. Well, I, I don't know. Maybe I do know what's, what, what's happening or what happened, but, but I think. that hearing someone speak from that place and be so powerfully open reminded me of what's possible, reminded me of an experience I've actually had. And and reminded me of a, of a state I've been in, a play, a, a kind of a, a place I have visited. And made me sad that I'm not there. And a little confused a little sort of like I mean it's a combination of emotions frustration with myself wondering what I can do
it's it's odd to me that someone close describing this experience and kind of speaking from that place and inviting me into the orbit of it would have the effect of kind of lowering my spirits. I'm not convinced that it has lowered my vibration, but but lowering my spirits. And I I can only explain it in the way that I sort of just did, but I can I can only explain it by by understanding the the whole experience as a kind of a mirror. Because on some level, I, I know there's work I want to be doing. I know there's practice I want to be doing. And I've had a patch of time where it's not that I can't point to some real value that I've been creating and, and that I and some things I can be I think really proud of for how I've used my time really satisfied and really happy with the use of my time but there's something missing and I think seeing seeing a, a brother on a path that feels right to me and, and, and resonant with me and where I might want to go, how I might want to approach life, holds up a mirror to me that's, that's, that I think that I think I'm, ha I'm having a hard time looking in it or I'm looking in it and I'm having a hard time accepting what I see. Which, of course, <laughs> is the whole point of enlightenment, <laughs> is accepting what's here now, what's real now. Um, not needing it to look like someone else's version of life, someone else's version of enlightenment. So, you know, and this, it's one of these things where like I had a, a day as a, as a result of that, I've, I've had a day where I've, this has been very present for me and I've kind of spent the day in a bit of a funk. I mean, I did some, I, I spent a couple hours working today. I, I had a reasonably productive day, but it, but a day where I've, I have had a constant sense of kind of pain and a, and a certain amount of longing. And it's the kind of thing that I don't want to admit to myself. It's the kind of thing where I, I to, when I knew, when I was coming up on now, doing my video post for the day, it was kind of like, oh, do I have to talk about this? Yes, I probably do, because otherwise I'll just be talking about some bullshit. Not really. You know, the, the, the point of a, of a process like this is that it only works if you are really... Kind of willing to be real, willing to look at reality. And receive what's there. And know, as I said literally yesterday, that everything is uplifting us. 
everything is here to lift us up, to evolve us, to move us to the next phase. You know, I think the power the power of, of challenging experiences is that they create the strength, they create the impulse, they create the I heard somebody use the image of a rubber band recently. Oh, it's like you're stretching a rubber band or a, you know, something that's going to propel us into a, it, it's the same, it, it's the, it's that, that the level of energy that we're willing to sustain is also, also carries us into positive feelings and feeling great and and I think I may be in a phase right now where I'm just burning through some of that stuff and it feels like it's burning fast feels like it's burning fast I'll tell you that So I was a little bit stunned by today, but also incredibly grateful that that this is happening, that I got this nudge, that I'm being shown. what my own true nature is capable of. That can be an exhilarating experience, but it can also be a humbling experience. It can be both. I'm getting a little of both.
that's where I am today, folks. Working through it. I'll tell you all about it tomorrow. After the next work, turn of the screw. But thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great day. See you soon.